More road rage on highways around western Washington. Two shootings in as many days, and now many are left wondering how safe it is on our roads and just to even go on our regular commute. We are tracking the trend and looking for answers today on your news at four. Thank you for joining us. I'm Hannah Kim. Fox 13 News reporter Jennifer Lee joins us now from the newsroom. So, Jen, what do you know about today's incident? And a state patrol says the bullets narrowly missed the driver who walked away with cuts to her head and neck from broken glass. We're learning this highway shooting started with an erratic driver next to the victim on Interstate 5 who gave her the middle finger. Troopers say the driver then sped up in front of the victim before dramatically slowing down. The two vehicles entered State Route 18 heading eastbound and state patrol says that's when the suspect vehicle pulled up next to the victim and a male passenger fired a gun before speeding off. Troopers say the victim was driving a blue Honda Civic and they say the bullets entered the driver's side window and went through the passenger side window. The shooting happened at 1030 this morning and it comes less than 24 hours after a highway shooting during the evening rush hour on Interstate 5 near SR 900. State Patrol says there were three vehicles involved in last night's incident. One vehicle remained on the scene and troopers say that driver returned fire after her car was shot at. The Kia apparently was shooting at the Dodge Charger multiple times. The female driver of the Charger uh, returned one round through her windshield toward the Kia. She also had four children in the car, and we are just thrilled that no one was injured. State Patrol says there have been nearly 40 shootings on the highway this year. Just two months ago, a spokesperson says they were seeing a 25% increase in highway shootings compared to the year before. State Patrol is now looking for two people after this morning's shooting. The driver is described as a slender female in her 20s with straight shoulder length hair. The male passenger who fired the gun, troopers say he has short hair and was wearing a white t-shirt. If you have any information on these highway shootings from this morning or last night, please give State Patrol a call. In the newsroom, Jennifer Lee, back to you.